Hello, my name is Brock Miller with I for Detailed Design uh, based out of Cape Coral, Florida. And uh, what we're going to look at today is a corrugated display that I had designed and PAL board. The display was a six-sided base and a three-sided header. From the corrugated standpoint, it needed a whole lot of support and engineering in order to uh, hold the product. It's just incredible how PAL board will hold its structural integrity, even though you want to cut out large areas of the material and, and still have a vertical kind of stacking strength. What can you do with PAL board that you can't do with corrugated? The shelf lip was reduced to one inch, and these trays hold 40 pounds of product each. There's a greater product visibility um, because we're not going to have uh, the, the corrugated supports that you would normally need through the center of this display. Without any center support, you're going to see 40 pounds of product sitting on a five millimeter PAL board tray, and there's not going to be any flex in that tray. Absolutely incredible. What you will have to support the top tray are small struts, which will actually be formed out of the vertical posts or, or beams that make up the outer part of the display. Some additional observations with PAL board versus uh, corrugated. PAL board won't dog ear or crush. You can route and cut fine points. It securely holds delicate details like the logo treatment. It allows for decorative routing effects. You can do curved structures and bends. It's waterproof and at the bottom where you would return a flap underneath to prevent uh, moisture wicking up into the corrugated display and compromising the structure. You wouldn't need those flaps with PAL board. Part of dynamic visual effects are you can route both sides. Absolutely incredible.